Hey guys, someone asked me to do a video on how to update an NPU from uh, MA Lighting. I granted me two NPU. Uh, it's the same procedure as uh, when you upgrade a console. So you go on the ACD Lighting website in the download section. So you go into the Grand ME2 section. So you're gonna need first to download StickMaker. This is a little software that's gonna prepare your USB stick with the image from the software so you can boot it and install from the USB key. So you download StickMaker. And then you come here and you download console npu.imgz. That's going to be your software. So after that, when once you've installed StickMaker, you open it. I'm going to drag it here. Okay. So you're going to need to select your USB stick. And after you come here and you go and find your software mine is right here double click on that so it's right image to disk so you click start uh, just a little warning that it's going to erase everything close all the other applications that may be running uh, so you hit yes here so this is going to take a few minutes, maybe three, four, five minutes. So I'm just going to pause this video and I'll come back when it's done. All right, almost done. Copy operation succeeded. So now you need to grab your USB stick and bring it over to the NPU. And you're going to need to hook up a USB keyboard to the NPU as well. So we're gonna come right here. Like so. And you're gonna see this one has a problem with the display. I'm gonna have to replace it. So this is just to show you how to install it. So you put your USB keyboard and your USB stick into the front ports and you hit power and on this particular motherboard you need to press F8 to enter the boot menu so we can select uh, the USB stick because you don't want to boot from the hard drive you want to boot from the USB stick so we're gonna hit power so you can see the screen here is messed up a bit but the touch is working so I'm just gonna replace this display so right here it says press F8 I missed that I think, yep, I missed it. So I'm gonna shut it down, start again. Sorry about that. Talking at the same time. So, shouldn't be too long. Here it says at the bottom F8 to enter boot menu. And we're gonna need to go and select our USB stick. Now it's going to give us a couple of options. The first one that's highlighted says update software 3.3.4.3 and keep shows and user data. The second one is update software, same version and clean shows user data. And we're going to use the third choice, which is factory reset. This deletes all shows plus it updates the software. So we're going to select that one, the third one, press enter. And then we're gonna have a little warning. You're about to install and erase everything. Do you want to continue? Shouldn't be too long. There you go. Your disk will be formatted. This means all your data will be lost. Please make sure you have a backup of your data before you continue. And you go yes, enter. And the install process doesn't take very long. It's just a couple minutes and then it's going to ask us to remove the USB stick and press enter to reboot so it's just as easy as that we're almost done already
Do you want to install? Blah, blah, blah. Yes, again. Almost done. Please remove USB stick and press OK to reboot. So we're gonna pull out the stick. Press enter. And now once it's done booting, it's gonna ask us to recalibrate the touchscreen. <laughs> it's messed up. Still works though. Just like usual. So it's really not more complicated than that. It's really easy to do. It takes only a few minutes. Starting the network. Come on, come on. All right. There we go. Calibrate. There you go, up and running. So this is it, thanks for watching.